welcome back to another episode. Today I want to talk about the Golden Axe series. And starting with the original Golden Axe, and you know, you have Gilius, you have Tyre's Flare, you have Axe Battler, the Conan the Barbarian ripoff. And you're taking on Death Adder, Death Adder Jr., and all that. And you know, we're gonna you know flash back to the early 90s, and there's a certain little arcade <laughs> store that was in a strip mall, North Maple Mall. Uh, where I grew up in Chatham and they had a small little arcade and I've told the story before but they had like Shin uh, they had Shinobi there uh, they had Ninja Gaiden they had like Gorilla War a couple pinball machines and original Asteroids machines um, if I didn't mention Double Dragon <laughs> uh, but another arcade uh, game that they had one of my earliest earliest uh, recollections of the arcades is Gold Max and I remember quite fondly Retro Matt and I would you know frequent that uh, arcade every time, you know, mom had to stop in the bank or whatever, we'd always go there, we'd drop a quarter in, and we would play Golden Axe, and, you know, that was just a fantastic game with awesome graphics, it was a beat-em-up, of course, I love beat-em-ups, and this is probably around, like, 1991 or 92, and, man, oh man, I, I always dreamt of, you know, just owning a home console version. At the time, all we had was an NES, a Nintendo Entertainment System. And unfortunately, you know, Sega, you know, we knew of the Genesis, but Sega, you know, obviously owned the rights to the game and all that. And uh, I don't, I didn't think at the time we were ever going to get a Sega Genesis. But flash forward, I'm going to say maybe 10, 12 years or so, I get my original Sega Genesis. And I immediately knew I remember from my childhood playing Golden Axe, I'm like, oh my god, Golden Axe is on the system. That's one of the first games I have to pick up. And I went down to my local microplay and I picked up a, a Model 1 Sega Genesis, which is phenomenal. It looks awesome. It's got a little slide volume button. You can put little headphones. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. And I remember just scouring microplay, which is like a retro gaming store back in like the late to early, you know, the late 90s to early 2000s. And I was in high school at this time, and I had my own spending money or whatever. And I picked up a copy. I found a loose copy, and I picked up that and Revenge of Shinobi. And I took it home. Man, I was on top of the world. I had my own Sega Genesis, two three-button paddles, and, and uh, Golden Axe. And I, Revenge, of, Revenge of Shinobi, and, you know, let's just go. Let's just go ahead. Beat Mug being one of my most favorite uh, genres of video gaming. Man, I mean... <clears throat> Finally, I own a copy of this arcade game I used to play as a kid, and it was awesome. I remember at the beginning how tough it was, and you know you can ride a different, um, you know, like animal or dinosaurs and all that. You had the fire-breathing one, you had one that spit fireballs, and you had that little chicken walker guy that swung his tail around. I thought it was so cool, and you know it didn't take long for Retro Mad Night to beat it. It wasn't a very long game at all, which is kind of sad, but. Um, Edging from, you know, kind of going from a Golden Axe 1 to the sequel, I actually don't remember when I first played Golden Axe 2. I think, you know, oh geez, what was it? I think my buddy Chad, who was a Sega fanatic, he loved the Sega Genesis, more than Nintendo and all that. He was a Sega guy. And I remember him playing Golden Axe 2, I'm like, because I didn't know at the time, like, the hell, is Golden Axe had a sequel? This is awesome! So I played Golden Axe 2, and man, it's just even better, better graphics, better sound, um, you know, more levels and all that, a lot, a lot of difficulty in that game, and it was just a fun two-player beat-em-up. I just remember, I remember specifically, probably the early 2000s now, um, probably 2001, 2002, that uh, we started playing Golden Axe 2, and I just, oh man, we spent countless hours playing that. I remember you know, begging Chad to let me borrow it at the time, and, and he was kind of hesitant, you know, me borrowing games and all that, but, uh, you know, he, he would, and uh, I had a freaking phenomenal time with Golden Axe too. Matt, Retro Matt and I played it to death, I mean, two-player beat em up, like, it's one of the best in the Sega Genesis, you know, Streets of Rage, Golden Axe, that's probably the best of the, you know, best, you know, beat em up wise, and, you know, from that, we, we get into... Uh, a game that I didn't even know existed until uh, well, a few years back, 
and that was in, until I played it on the Sega uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection on the Xbox 360. Yeah, that, that game was, you know, Golden Axe 3. And to tell you the truth, I didn't really like it. I, uh, it must have been the presentation, maybe the fact that you couldn't play as a dwarf Gilius. You know, you could actually wield the Golden Axe and, you know, try to defeat all these uh, evil minions and... Ah... Uh, I don't know, there's a panther warrior guy, you know, that was cool, but it just didn't feel like, it didn't feel like Golden Axe. Um, you know, Ty uh, Tyrus Flair was in it. I don't know if Axe Battler was, I think he was in it, but I'm not sure. I haven't played it extensively. You know, the graphics just don't look, it, it, to me, Golden Axe 3 always looked very unfinished or unpolished. It's very bland music very bland graphics. I don't know, maybe it was just me coming from the original two in the series. I don't know, I, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth, unfortunately. You know, I played it and it, you know, it was okay, but it just didn't live up to the moniker of Golden Axe. But yeah, those are some of my memories of Golden Axe. I love the series. You know, we recently got you know a, a new type of uh, sequel in the Golden Axe lineup, and um, it didn't do so well. It was on the 360, probably on the PS3 as well. And, uh, that was just a terrible, horrid game. I wish Sega could just do its old franchises some justice and just... There's a market. There's definitely a market for 2D beat-em-ups. There are you know, older players like myself, even if it's just a digital download only. I mean, there, there's still room for us old uh, video game nerds. And we know what we like, and we like 2D beat-em-ups, at least I do, and I know a lot of people, you know, would pay attention to a game like that, because Double Dragon Neon and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, they've done pretty well. Let me know in the comments section below what you, you know, what you like and love about beat-em-ups, what you, what your thoughts and memories of Golden Axe 1, 2, or 3, I would really like to know, and tell me which one is your favorite. I think uh, the original Golden Axe is my favorite. So anyways guys, enough of my rambling, here's my six pack with my original Golden Axe and my pristine copy of Golden Axe 2. I love these games, I love beat em ups, and you know what, Max Pack 24 channel, I'm Will, as always your host. In the meantime, in between time, for those about to retro, play some great beat em ups like these games, I fucking salute you. Take care.